Well, I had the camera running and I accidentally turned it off, but we got a fish on here, boys. And this is super cool for me for one reason. This is on a bait that a friend of mine has been trying to get me to use forever. And I never would give it a shot. Hey, good morning, salt yakers. Here we go again. We're on a solo mission today and we're fishing a new spot where we've never fished before. Uh, but take a look around. I've been just kind of eyeing this spot for the last couple weeks and just hadn't had a good opportunity to get over here. But there's tons of docks. There's some little cove areas with mangroves. I'm in six feet of water right now and you'll see I'm already marking some small to medium sized fish here. So that certainly looks good to me. So guys, as always, thanks for the click. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you to you subscribers. Can't say thank you enough. If you are one of the thousands of dudes that are watching these videos who hasn't subscribed yet, come on, what are you waiting for? Reach down there, hit that button. It ain't gonna hurt you. It's easy. Get it done. I sure would appreciate it. Now it's time. You ready guys? Let's get ready. Let's go. Let's go fishing. All right, we're gonna make a move now. Move down here a bit, but before we do, look here guys. You on the water, you wanna have a beverage. I get it, it's fun, but listen. Don't throw your drink and your beer cans in the water. We got one floating here. You're on the water, do your part guys, leave no trace. Get the trash out of the water. Help conserve our fishery a little bit. All right, leave no trace, let's go. Got a fish on here, what do we got? <laughs> All right, so when I said I wanted to catch a redfish today, this is not exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> it's a redfish, but by golly, it's a baby. Look at this little guy. <laughs> he cute. All right, little guy, go grow up, tell your mama. <laughs> Absolute baby, that's cool. We got a fish on, we're in a super difficult spot here. I'm under a bridge. A cat step into these mangroves. It does not feel like a catfish, it's the good news. Oh, it's another little rat red. Oh good, he shook it off right here. That's actually good news. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can't find something else. See where we are though, we're under this little low bridge. And I found him under those mangroves out there ahead of us. Find a bigger one. He probably wasn't but about 12 or 14 inches long. He was a little bit bigger than the last little baby, but he was still very small. So I'm glad he just shook it off. There we go, here we go. We're getting eight, we're eight, we're eight. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I missed him. Got the bait. What I'm doing now, since I was burning through my shrimps so fast, I started pinching them in half and they're big shrimps. So even a half of one is still a big, nice sized bait. So we're gonna take this half. And we're going to toss it right over here against this mangrove. I felt like this was going to be a really good spot because the only way you're going to get back here to fish this area is going to be in a kayak or on a paddleboard. And I haven't seen anybody else out here on a yak or a paddleboard, so I figured this area back here is going to be just completely untouched. And we're at Fish on, fish on. Not very big though, whatever it is, it's small. What is it? Big old giant pinfish. And I do mean big old giant pinfish. Ouch, stop poking me, stop it. There's a fish. 
that's another little baby red come on now guys i mean i'm super glad to be catching redfish don't get me wrong but look these are babies these are babies that's the third little baby now Where's your mom? Cute little guy. Baby, baby. See you later. I think I even cut my bait on that one. I did. In case you're wondering, yes, that's my drive still making that friggin' noise. Let's go, Hobie. How long has it been? I'm intentionally leaving a lot of slack in the line. If y'all can see it. You see the line and this big S curve on the water. And I kind of want it that way. And then I just watch that curve. And as soon as it starts to, you can just see the bite, it'll start straightening out. Fish on? Yep, fish on. What do we got? Hello, fishy. Hello, hello. I'd say it's a little Mr. Snooky, Snooky. Hey, little guy. Oh, he just spit the hook right here at the boat. It was a snook, but he was small. He couldn't have been 12, 14 inches. He was small, little guy. But that's all right. <laughs> I'm happy right now, fellas. Oh, he's eight. The only camera's not running. So it turns out the camera was running when I got the bite. And it's just another little baby rat red. That's a fourth one that size. We're definitely in their nursery. You beautiful little guy. We'll see you later, bud. He ate just as soon as it hit the water too, man. I don't have my cast net because I destroyed it the other day. Got it snagged up on something, I don't know, rock or oysters or something and tore it all to pieces getting it out of the water. If somebody's just feeling charitable and wants to send me a new six foot cast net, <laughs> feel free. I've got an eight footer, but throwing the eight foot cast net in the kayak is not, is not fun.
had the camera running and accidentally turned it off but we got a fish on here boys and this is super cool for me for one reason this is on a bait that a friend of mine has been trying to get me to use forever and I never would give it a shot and I finally did and look at here this is my first ever sheephead on artificial <laughs> core you paying attention bro <laughs> look here core yep check it out there it is on the old crabby crab <laughs> i'm super excited i gotta take a picture of it and i'm gonna text it to core here in just a minute <laughs> that's so cool he's a keeper i think let's measure him up we're not keeping i don't know shoot been a minute since uh yeah he's a keeper he's 13 13 and a quarter ah, hey 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 yeah we'll keep him what the heck funny part about it is i did exactly what core said with this bait he said you gotta skip it up under the mangroves oh is something eating my shrimp back there kind of looks like hold on i got a shrimp in the water and something just flopped back here but no it wasn't let's get him back out there though all right he said you gotta skip it up under the mangroves that's exactly what we did and i'll be darned if he wasn't right you got to check out his channel i'll link it down below he hadn't posted in forever i think it's probably been uh, over a year since the last time he posted this channel is called pimp of the flies he typically is a fly fisherman but sometimes he uh sometimes he branches out with us and throws the old spinning rig <laughs> I'm super excited that that just happened we got a fish on here boys <sighs> he was taking drag there for a minute he thinks he's big but I don't think he is feels like another little small redfish he's a good bite though oh he's a little better he's a little bit better yes sir -y. yes sir he might even make slot maybe let's see here come on little fella come here little fella Whew. thought i had the camera running when he bit but unfortunately i did not he is definitely the biggest red so far of the day he's still not slot i don't think even if he is, he's the bottom of the slot. We're going to let him go no matter what. But he is almost tickling 18, as you can see there. He almost makes slot, but he's about a quarter inch short. But as I say, no matter what, he's going back. Let's get a quick picture of him. He gave me a nice little fight. Most of it you guys did not get to see because I thought I had the camera rolling, and in fact, I did not. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, little dude. As always, we thank you. There he goes. <laughs> he gone. That was nice, man. Whew, I wish I'd have got all that on the camera for you guys because it really was a good bite. I was reeling in to make a different cast and right as I started to reel he smacked it and I mean he smacked it I'm here to tell you
Just got a great cast up in this mangrove right here. There's a fish. All right, we got him. He's on. Another little rat red. Another little dinky guy. Dinky red. I don't even know. Six, maybe? Something like that. We'll let him go. See you, buddy. I don't want to lose these little baits. They're not cheap. <laughs> they come, I think it's like 12 bucks, and there's only two in the box. So, you know, $6 for a little soft plastic is... That's a little spendy for a soft plastic lure. Yeah, we got a little something on here. If I had to guess, I bet it's a trout because it came straight to the surface. Sure enough, little trout ski. Hey, little guy. There he is. Let him go. See you later. Guys, we got a fish on. It just bit. It's got a catfish vibe to it, unfortunately. We're about to see. He was super far away from the boat when he bit, so. But definitely, definitely feels like catfish. Come here, boy. Yep. Big old hard head. Let's bring him around this side of the boat to deal with him. Whew, man, I tell you what, I um, had about a belly full of these guys today. More big marks on the graph. Here they are if you want to see what they look like. that graph guys that's freaking sick I can't get a bite from them there's a fish oh yeah let's get this thing in reverse and try to get him pulled out of the dock oh he just went around the pylon right now Hold up, hold up. Let's go easy on him. Let's go easy and see if we can get him off that pile. We don't have any rods in the air behind us. Yeah, we do. Let's get it laid down because we're going to have to go under this dock and chase this fish down. Oh, wait. He just came out. Never mind. Oh, look at that. That's a stud snapper, boys. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm just telling you. It's a stud snapper. Look at here. Boom! Yes, sir. That's a stud now. Hold on. Let's grab a bump board. Let's see what we got going on here. Gotta be 10 inches to be a keeper. Or to stick me in his in my leg with his fins. <laughs> Look at here, guys. That is a 12 and a half inch snapper that's a stud snapper snappy snappy you know what's super cool to do with a stud keeper fish like that that makes an amazing dinner watch this here's what you do with a trophy snapper bye bye <laughs> thank you thank you mr snapper that was freaking awesome i like letting him go that's fun he lived to swim another day and we'll catch him again later guys we're down to the last shrimp y'all know how it is it's clutch time and i'm pedaling back to the dock or back to the ramp i got a long ways back to where i launched probably a mile or two i don't know not too terrible but a decent ways but i was trying to hold up on one or two shrimp in case i saw a dock that just really caught my eye so let's see if we can't find a fish hiding under it. 
We only got one snook today and he was a little dink. I love to polish the day off with a nice healthy snook. Or really anything that can take drag. I'm eight. Let's see what we got going on. He's on, but he's small. I'd say snapper by the feel. He's vibrating super fast. Yep, there he is. That's not a good way to spend your last shrimp with a dink snapper. Come on now, folks. Our fisheries are precious. Leave no trace, boys. What is this, a whole like milk jug or iced tea jug or something floating around? We're gonna grab it. We ain't gonna let that stay out here. Not in my fishery. Especially considering they provide us trash cans all over the place. Look how much trash I picked up today. Back there, beer cans, beer bottles, milk jug, all kind of stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> all right, saw yakers. We're calling it a wrap. It's been an awesome day out here. For a little quickie kind of solo mission on Saturday, I think we wound up eight redfish, one trout, one snook. So there's your inshore slam. Uh, three mangrove snapper, one sheep's head, about a thousand catfish, and maybe even a partridge in a pear tree. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But as always, guys, thank you for the click. Thank you for hanging out with us for a little bit. It's been a beautiful day out here. Check it out. We're getting towards the end of the day. <laughs> Fish finder's dying. It's time to go home. Thanks for subscribing. If you hadn't already done it, do me a favor, guys. Hit that subscribe button. It's easy. And it sure helps me and my family. So, get up off that couch. Get up. Get out there. Go do something that makes your day great today. Because at the end of it all, guys, if you don't go, you don't know. See ya!